My name is Marcina Burton, and I have been a member of Single Mountain Baptist Church and The Point for almost 60 years. In January, the first Sunday in next year, we will have been here 60 years. Our history with the church is that we came here as newlyweds and uh, in the fall of 1963 after we married, and we've been active here all that time except for two and a half years that we went to Eldorado, Arkansas, when my husband was transferred with his company. And then we came back, rejoined Signal Mountain Baptist. We had a wonderful time of growth and a lot of things going on. And then all of a sudden, we just started going downhill. Well, our pastor at that time, Stephen Wright, could see that things were not going as they should go. And so he started the vision leadership team and they met and were trying to decide which direction the church could take. And as that was going on, we just continued to lose members and we got down to about 50 or 60 members. And it got so that we couldn't pay the bills and we couldn't reach new members because nobody wanted to come in to a church that wasn't thriving. But the vision team led us in prayer and we all were praying earnestly for the guidance of God to show us the direction he wanted us to go in. And of course, Sam was introduced to somebody who told him what was going on here. And he is great at visions and he could see how we could merge and really build and grow here on Signal Mountain. And so then when we met with Sam and Josh Lancaster and with Bill Harvey. They came prepared, gave us information, uh, and the minute they started, you could just feel the spirit in the room. Amen. Um, Amen. Moving us that this was an answer to all the prayers that had been prayed by the vision team, as well as the few members that were left. And it's interesting that we found out during all this in the literature that Sam and then brought. I want to t read a couple of statements. Um, back in February the 9th, 1949, Red Bank Baptist gave to Signal Mountain Baptist $500 to help in their building program and that the money was to come out of the mission fund. So Red Bank had a hand in building Signal Mountain Baptist from the very beginning. And another thing that they did was uh, in January the 18th, 1950, Red Bank also gave to Signal Mountain Baptist Church the sum of $300 to help buy furnace for the church that, and this sum was to come from the cooperative program. So Red Bank early on was helping Signal Mountain Baptist thrive. and. Uh, it was kind of like we were going full circle. God was taking us back to them to help us again when we were in desperate need Amen. of a Savior in more ways than one. And um, we kind of uh, latched on to a verse, a few verses that I want to share from Jeremiah. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. So God was bringing us back to where we needed to be. And from then on, we were growing and thriving for these past five years. And we were in desperate need of renovation and we didn't have the money to do it. And so Red Bank came in and took care of that for us. And of course we had money, some money to contribute to it. And um, this was the choice of Signal Mountain Baptist. It was not a push from Red Bank at all. Um, after we had met with the committee, we presented it to Signal Mountain Baptist that we felt like this was the way God was leading us. And the church members then voted to merge with Red Bank. 
and uh, Red Bank was prepared to take us on and help us and they welcomed us into the community of faith and of course we're in the adult fellowship and uh, those people have been very welcoming to us when we meet and we meet with them most every time that they're having a meeting and uh, they have just met many needs that we had.